Hello, hello, and welcome to episode three of my LP. This is Kevin Comer, and uh, back at the Calgary Tower here. You can see I've been doing a little bit of work on some of the aesthetics of the place. So I've been getting some red wool uh, for the trim there, and I've actually done a lot of work on the roof here. Um, well, actually, let me get up a little higher so we can see what it looks like. So, so the actual tower has you know a lot of kind of metal supports in this glass structure and spokes um, to the middle. Uh, that's really fairly difficult to duplicate in Minecraft. So, uh, I just did my best using the stone slabs and we can see what it looks like from above I think I think it looks pretty good but it was actually a fairly complex uh, look to achieve um, yeah so you could see the stone around the edge there that's where the core shaft of the tower is going to be coming up through the middle and so yeah so we've uh, uh, yeah, I got a good start on kind of the atrium or the lobby area of the tower. I think it looks pretty decent. So, for today's episode, my main goal is to get my villager into this uh, this shaft here. I want to get him moving chickens up to the top. I could just go to the top and start hatching chickens up there manually, but I think it'll be m more fun to do it with the, the dispenser. So I'll get the uh, the rest of the water streams in place there, and I'll set something up at the top to hold everything that's going up there. And yeah, we'll get we'll get working on that. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of watching of other people's videos, uh, you know, pertaining to the the next release, uh, the the redstone update. And I know there are some designs out there for some fully automated chicken farms. I saw one from uh, DocM on the Minecraft server there. Uh, and those are cool. I like them. But I think I'm, I'm going to continue with this project. Uh, it'll still be unique and maybe sometime there'll be quite a bit of room at the top of the tower. I could move all the redstone up there. But for now I'm going to continue on with what I was doing and just yeah, fin finish it up mostly as I had envisioned it originally. Uh, so, yeah. I'll get to work on that. So I'll be right back. Alright, I was just over at uh, my storage shed there, uh, picking up a few materials, and I realized I need a couple more buckets of lava to put in some dispensers. So... I wanted to check something out here. If I, every time I come past this area here, I swear I can hear lava somewhere. Where was it now? Let's see. Was it a little further? I wanted to to see if there was like a pool just under the ground here, or something. Well, let me look for it and. When I find it, I'll, I'll come back. Well, I found it. It's uh, pretty close to my tower here. I, I was kind of surprised, but it's good. It's a ready source close by. Should last me a little while. Anyways, that's all there was to that. I was just curious about where that was. Um, let me just mark that with something. I guess a pumpkin will do. Yeah, it's funny. I, every time I came by, I heard it, and I never thought to look for it before. Anyways, back to the construction. Alright, I've made some progress here, so I thought I'd just share uh, where I've gotten. So, here uh, is where... Here, we can break this out. That is where the uh, chickens will be falling down. Um, so, yeah, let me get down here. So I've been 
I'm trying to use as much glass as possible so I can leave it open just uh, for looks if you're down here in the basement or um, you know for troubleshooting if something is to go wrong so up there you can see the um, the chickens will be falling down aligned with this edge and so they'll be kind of against here and against here and so they'll fall down uh, through I have the tripwire set up here and I, I spent so much time figuring out how to count them properly that I I thought that I should actually try to get a very accurate count. So what I have here is a dispenser with a lava bucket and a piston here. So when we get to our count of 128 chickens, what will happen is this this uh, piston will push out, block anything else from coming down, and this will this dispenser will shoot out uh, some lava here, which will um, actually I might have to change that up a little bit because that fence is going to burn isn't it anyways I'll figure that out but the plan is for the dispenser to shoot out the lava and kill any chickens that are remaining I, I might actually just be able to change that out for a water bucket since uh, chickens don't like to swim very well I might be able to drown them but we'll, we'll see I'll, I'll, I'll keep working on this and uh, I'll update you again when I have some more progress Okay, I'm back again, and I've made quite a bit of progress here. You can see this hole significantly larger than it was before. Uh, my crafting bench used to be on the floor. Anyways, we, we've... Wow, you can't really see a lot in there. Anyways, there's the piston and the dispenser where the lava bucket was. Uh, instead of trying to... Um, use water or something to prevent those fences from burning here let me actually just get in there uh, so I can take a look and show you oh my friend uh, guac just logged on anyways uh, yeah I just replaced them with iron bars and seems to work just as well no problems there so um, yeah that seemed like a good enough solution to me. Uh, so yeah, yeah, they come fall down there. Uh, I have a too wide um, f gap for them to fall through here, so that they don't get jammed up. Because you know, when you're using trip wires, you have to either have like a transparent block or nothing below them. If there's nothing below the string, so that um, yeah, it just needs to be consistent between the string and the hooks. So there's a too wide gap there so that uh, the chickens don't get hung up on whatever block is below the uh, the hook there. So it's just nothing. And since they're falling against um, this far side here, on this side, they, they won't get hung up on uh, this glass block here. So they fall down into the water stream. And that will push them over here and I've got all the ladders set up here so the next step that I want to do here is I want to get my villager into his final home there uh, so I'm gonna get working on that um, we're going to try to use some rail and a minecart to get him over here so what I've got here is uh, actually let's go get the mine uh, or the the rail from the nether that we used to bring him over here so work on that all right so what's the best okay wow pick just crushes that collect oh. sorry uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to get this rail without well I guess I'm doing it by hand. Um, yeah, you can see I actually don't have any food on me. Uh, so I can't wait to get this farm up and going. Because I am tired of harvesting wheat and I don't like breeding my cows. And yeah, I just, I just want a way of getting chicken really, really easily. So get that done as soon as we can. 
So I'll talk, maybe I'll update you on <laughs> the rest of the goings on on the server. So, my friend, really, really far away guy, uh, I call him Biff. Um, he's been working on his mob farm in the sky. It's a giant globe. Uh, he calls it his Death Star, and I think he's almost got that operational. So we'll have to see if it's worth heading out there for the the experience that he can get from that. I think he has a way of turning it into an experience farm. Right now, uh, uh, I'm not sure if it's fully operational. Anyways, in the inside, it's just yeah, it's just a completely dark sphere, and he has water streams that uh, run down the inside and push all the mobs to the middle on a on a clock this is kind of a neat design i know he had a lot of trouble getting it going um once he had it all sealed up there were no lights inside and then he was trying to get inside to work on it some more and he's just getting crazy amounts of spawns so getting getting blown up by creepers and stuff i know he says the bottom of it's all mangled now because he just had to get it closed up in a way that it was usable without getting uh, just crunched by creepers. Oops, that's not rail. Alright, so we'll just lay this out here. Um, my other friend here, the guy that's digging the giant hole in the ground, he says this hole is almost done. The problem he's having now is he doesn't know what to put in his hole. So if anybody has any ideas... Where am I going? This isn't right. If anybody has any ideas for stuff that he can put in his hole, uh, just leave it in the comments. I'll let him know what you guys say. Wow, I just completely messed up this rail. This is not the right direction. Oh, I guess I can use a pick on it here on the grass. <laughs> Even still, killing some grass. Alright, I was supposed to go this way up and over here just crappy temporary rail line so I got this glass block here I'll just send him right on through it I hope that works yeah that should work and then we'll just try to shove him into the shaft there I know he won't go willingly I mean <laughs> who would want to he's gonna be stuck in like just a one wide shaft with a ladder for the rest of his life all right whoa oh no 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 get out of there come on all right all right Whew. what's oh because i turned the track okay we will fix that um hmm. hang on all right get out of there guy Oh, all right. Maybe we can work something out with this here. All right. Okay. Shit. Don't die. Don't die. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Well, I'll go get some more rail, and I'll move another villager over here, and I'll get back to you when I got that done. God damn it. Well, I'm back here at the village. Uh, Walks having a bad time over there, but. You know, I once heard that there was a, I, I don't remember who said it, but there was a director, a movie director from a long time ago that said, never work with children because they're too unpredictable. And I'm kind of feeling that way about villagers right now. I came over here to move another one over, over to uh, the tower and they're kind of being uncooperative. One got in my way and you know, I wasn't thinking about it. I gave him a shot to get him out of the way. I just punched him. And the iron golem came over and killed me. And then, you know, I was running out of food, so I went to get some uh two creepers just formed. <laughs> just uh sorry, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I went to get some steal some wheat from their farms over there and uh almost got killed by a spider joggy almost got blown up i was almost starving to death and i'm trying to find okay i like you you come over here all right stand there come on get in there 
Yes. All right. So we got ourselves another farmer, and we got a three-step process to get him over to the tower. First, shove him through this glass block. Okay, perfect. Not suffocating. Good. Learn my lesson. Okay. Get out of that cart, please. Come on. There we go. Alright. So, give him a shove, and in he goes. And I don't know, I, I didn't do any checking to see if these guys actually don't like being in the nether, but that other guy seemed to want to get out of here pretty quick, so... Where's my cart? Did I... Oh, I ran out of space. Did I leave it on the other side? I think I did. Ooh, smooth sailing, eh? Yeah, there it is. Alright, let's get that guy moved through the nether. And then this time we won't murder him. And we will get him into his home. Alright, guy. Get in there. Perfect. Good so far. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. And... Alright. Step two done. <laughs> and... Get out of your bone. Get in the portal. Come on. Leave. Go. Are you gonna go? Come on, man. Maybe the other side's obstructed now with all that crap I put there to uh, hold him in. Let's check that out. Alright, get rid of some of this. Maybe he'll come now. Alright. Um. Hmm. You can come out of there? No? Are you. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm gonna work on getting him out of there and I'll be right back. Well, I'm back at the village again. That guy just wouldn't go through, so I killed him. I stabbed him to death. And now this guy is my guy now. So get in the cart. There we go. You're the guy, right? Yep, you're the guy. All right, let's go. You cooperate because I don't want to do to you what I had to do to your friend there. Okay, got the cart. And you go into the portal. Please, please go into the portal. Please go in. Come on. Go in to... He's jammed in the corner. Come on, man. Be a pal. Alright, maybe I can... <laughs> Move him a little closer. With the cart. Alright. He's back in there. Give him a shove that way. Come on. Alright, let me just get rid of that glass then. And <laughs> I hope I could get this ordeal done in this episode. Okay. Into the portal. Alright, he went. Good. Whew. It's just getting harder and harder every time I do it. Okay, we're going down this way. And off we go. You're going to go through, right? You're not going to jerk me around like that last guy? Come on, pick up the pace. Alright, almost there. And will you go through in the cart? No. Is he gonna go?
he's not gonna go okay well I'll get one over here off camera <laughs> and I'll try to figure out what I was doing wrong but yeah I just don't I don't know I don't know what's going on I might have to destroy that portal and see if uh, if remaking it will get him to go through but getting just a wee bit frustrated here anyways I'll be back Okay, I got fish dude through, and I'm sure everything will work just perfectly this time. So, let's get, oh, well, there you go. Right into place. No problems at all. And just give him a shove. And there you go. He's in his home. Um, I think... I would like to take a ride on the elevator. Make it us first. So I think if I put that there, he won't uh, he won't get out, and he should push me up to the top. We get a nice view of the surroundings. No, I guess he won't push me. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. Well. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll get some uh, we'll get some chickens going. Oh, I guess I'm gonna push him, and now I can't see anything. All right. Let me try to get out of here without letting him free. Okay. Back down you go. All right. You stay there, and we'll go get some eggs, and we'll come back and get. Uh, get some chickens heading up to the top. I, I Actually, first, what I need to do is make a little holding pen for them up there. So I'll get that done, and then, um, yeah, we'll be back when we're ready to start sending some up. I'm going to have to make a whole bunch more ladders so that I can have an alternate route up to the top now. I'll probably... Mm, I'll probably just put it on the back side for now. Uh, just temporarily yep so just give me a couple minutes and we'll get that started well you can see up at the top here whoops I've constructed uh, a temporary holding cell for chickens um, yeah it's just nothing fancy it'll just uh, force them all into one area up there once they get to the top and make all the eggs drop down in the same area as these ladders are right now. So I'll show you how that's going to work. Um, yeah, not much else to say about that. Just just uh, built this little platform here. I can whoops, come up here and stand. Um, it'll all... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll redo all this once I get the actual tower built, but for now I just want to start getting a good source of eggs going and get all my chickens that will be permanently up here, up at the top. So, oops, I need to actually put um, this block back at the top. So, the villager is down there at the bottom, and when he gets to the top here him and all the chickens will be pushing against each other and when they yeah when they hit the top uh, he'll force all of them out the side here and since the blocks at the top he can't climb any higher once they're all kind of just shoved out then he just goes back down and all the chickens will um, hit these water streams here uh, I guess a few might drown back here because it's not flowing, but that's all right. Like I said, this is not not the final product, and they'll just flow along here, uh, and they'll get kind of shoved into the corner here. All the eggs they lay w will hopefully mostly fall straight down this ladder down to the bottom, and you can see pretty nice view from up here of the lobby there anyways I'm going to go back to my place and get a bunch of the eggs I've stored up and we'll come finally test some uh, some of these mechanisms so I'll be 
back in a minute. Well, I went and picked up a lot of eggs that I had stored in, in my uh, construction office in my storage area there. And this is exciting. I'm finally going to get to see, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully some of the stuff I've been working on actually finally work. So, we'll just, uh, we'll just come over here, and I've put these two levers here beside the dispenser just temporarily to make it, make it work. So this one will provide constant power, and you can hear it fired there, so that's on. And then this one will just provide some, uh, some redstone updates, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. To the dispenser uh, you can hear every time I flick it the dispenser fires so I'll be able to just flick it as fast as I can and we'll get some eggs firing out of there so let's load it on up and start getting some stuff going got some baby chickens coming come on let's get a few more than that Let's see what we got going here. So, whoops. They're falling down through the tripwire. And our villager's already gone. So he's already making a trip. And, okay, he's take. Oh, you know what? I left a hole in it. <laughs> so that's not going to work, I think. Yep. <laughs> I left the hole open. So let me plug that up and oh geez baby chickens everywhere at least they're one hit kill all right we'll find the other few after but so far it's uh mm, seems to be working okay so so he is actually making a trip all the way up to the top and there's some sitting there so we'll hatch a few more and then we'll go look for him there can we see him? Uh, he must be way up there. Let's get some more going. How are we doing on eggs in here? Oh, lots left. Come on, babies. How many we got going now? Do we have any in the system there? Yep, here comes one anyways. The clock, once I have it hooked up, will obviously fire these much, much quicker. So they're flowing through the water stream no problem, gathering down here and just waiting for their ride. Let's see if we can spot where the villager is now. Should probably... well, maybe not. I mean, it's a high climb. I was thinking he might be on his way down. Oh, there he is. You can see him. Here he comes. Oh, this is cool. It's working. He might have one or two with him still, but I think that that method of uh, getting rid of the babies is pretty effective. Yeah, well, looks like he's alone. So let's see him do a pickup down here. There he goes. So yeah, a couple will will fire out into the water. That's okay. They'll eventually all make it. When they f when they come back down, they tend to cluster by the ladder, so they're less likely to be on that side and get forced out the next time. So now we can climb up to the top. See what's going on up there. I really hope that temporary water stream system's working out properly. Do we have? Ah, oh. sorry, buddy. You gotta die. I don't want no chickens down here. That's why I'm making this whole system. So let's see if those temporary water streams are working. We'll make the climb just as the village has been doing all the way up. And we'll see if we have chickens gathering right above us there. And we'll just be able to collect eggs down at the bottom is the plan. We'll get a lot of chickens up there. I don't know how many I'm going to be going for. Um, I'll have to do just a little checking into how often they lay eggs. Check up 
on the wiki and come up with, you know, how many eggs I want per hour or per whatever time unit. Just want a good number of eggs so that, uh, you know, I can get, uh, you know, X number of food per hour type of thing. So do some calculating and figure out how many eggs, how many chickens I need to lay how many eggs to hatch, how many more chickens to, uh, to feed the whole system. So, yeah, it looks like they're kind of congregating around this area. Should should be forcing eggs down once they grow up and start laying. And, hmm, I might have to work out a way to keep them. Okay, that's fine there. Yeah, anyways, uh, this all seems to be working out all right. So I'm going to start uh, getting some more chickens hatching there. Woo. And, yep, we'll start. Oh, <laughs> Oh geez, good thing I got my feather falling boots, and the villagers making another trip. So I guess he just got back down. He took the safe route of actually climbing down the ladder rather than almost falling to his death. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna be about all for today, and it's great to finally get some stuff actually working. Um, so I'll plugging away uh, you know I've actually before I go I'll show you something else here I've been bringing over all this smooth stone uh, I, I've cooked up a whole bunch back at uh, my storage shed and um, yeah the, this is gonna be for the uh, the shaft of the tower going up so I've estimated that I'm needing gonna need about uh, 86 stacks of smooth stone I've actually cooked all that up there's some more there just gotta get it over here and I'm gonna get building that pretty soon but it's gonna be a big job 86 stacks anyways uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time